Hey y'all, so for this week, um, the three questions I picked, um, I didn't write down the original number, but I'll just read them to you. So the first questions, uh, the first question I picked was, watch a drama, a reality show, or a soap opera and identify the enigma, the delay, and the resolution. So I watched a movie, um, I watched P.S. I Love You, and, um, if you've ever seen it, it's definitely a drama. Um, it starts off with a fight, and then, I had never seen it before this, by the way, and it starts off with a fight, and then they make up, and then the dude dies within, like, the first 15 minutes of the movie, and I was like, this is ridiculous, but, um, so that was definitely the enigma. It draws you in, it makes you ask a lot of questions, like, why is this happening? What is going on? Why did this dude just die? Turns out it's a brain tumor, but they don't tell you that until... They show you this um, funeral service that just kind of comes out of nowhere. Um, so that's the enigma. And then um, the delay. So this um, dead man <laughs> sends his wife um, letters. And the, this is the delay. So he has his wife do all of these crazy adventures and do all these things that get her out of her comfort zone but it's not it's like through a very long period of time so it's like throughout different seasons of her life so I guess that's the that's the delay so then the resolution is that you know through all of this time, you think that, you know, because of these letters, she hasn't been able to, like, let go of him or get over him because these letters are holding her back. But in reality, he's been letting her get over him himself. So he's been teaching her a lesson from, like, beyond the grave, which, looking back at it now, is a little morbid and a little weird. <laughs> but I guess it's kind of a sweet story when you watch it, and, um, I don't know, it was kind of sweet in the moment when I was watching it, but that was the resolution, so. The second question was, find an example of an action code, um, but, um, uh, other than the Soprano example, and, um, how I sensed what was going to happen. So, um, there was a new show that premiered this week, called God Friended Me, and, um, I can't remember what station it was on, but, um, it was basically about this guy, and he's an atheist, and then he gets a weird friend request on Facebook, and it's from a guy named God, and it's a long story about, with a lot of twists and turns, and at the end of the episode, this girl gets hit by a car, and it's this guy's friend and he met her because God told him that he should friend her on Facebook. Lots of twists and turns. Well, this other guy shows up that he was also told to friend on Facebook from God. And the guy, the other guy that showed up was like, I'm a doctor. And so you knew going into that situation that the other guy, that was the, not the atheist, but the other guy that showed up on the scene, you expected him to say that he was a doctor. It's kind of hard to explain without seeing the episode, but going into it, I expected that to happen just because of the way that the episode was set up. So, basically, it was the end of the episode, so you knew something, like, epic needed to happen, and it, they needed to wrap up the episode in some way. So, they kind of needed to do something that gave, like, a severe message. So, I just kind of knew that he said something like, We need a doctor, and then this other guy shows up, and they had just said, like, how do I find this guy? He obviously is important, and then he was, shows up, and he's like, I'm a doctor. I mean, it makes sense. It's kind of obvious. So, then my third question I picked is, Cite an instant, an instance of archetype, ar archetypal trickster in a situation, comedy, and in drama. So, 
When I read the section in the textbook about this, I immediately thought of the show Once Upon a Time, if you've ever seen that. And I thought of the character Mr. Gold. So if you've ever seen that show, Mr. Gold sometimes is a hero and sometimes he's a villain. It really depends on the situation and who he's with. So if he's with, like, his wife, Belle, he's a hero. And if he's with other people, he's usually a villain. So it really, like, season to season depends. Very distinct, though. So I immediately thought of him for drama. And then for comedy, I had to think a lot more about that one just because, um, tricksters, I don't know. You don't necessarily think of tricksters for comedy, but it makes sense. So, um, after I thought about it, I thought of the show Spongebob, which is kind of lame, but I watched it a lot as a kid. So after I thought about it, I thought of that show. So when you think about it, Plankton is actually a big character on the show, and he's in like every single episode. And Plankton is a trickster on that show, and he's always trying to go after, um the secret recipe, so he's always trying to, like, scheme and go after different characters, but he ultimately is never successful, but the show always, um, makes it into a lighthearted joke and makes the show funny, so that's why I picked that one, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye!